to make sure that they are stable and there is a constant source of funding, whether it's good times or bad times, serves the interest of the American people. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. This is breaking news on Wednesday. John, tell us this breaking news you want to share with everybody. Today, the Supreme Court put out a ruling that basically says the president has the right to hire and fire the the leader of the agency called the FHFA, which is the Federal Housing Finance Agency. They're the agency in charge of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The current leader has an agenda that was was taking Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac down the road of getting off of the government books back into the private sector. And as part of that agenda, uh, he, he was shrinking their footprint, ha- wanting them to do less loans, be um, less on the hook I- I- and less integral to the mortgage industry overall. Every single person that d- did a refinance on a loan, on a home in the last 10 months mm-hmm. using a conventional loan product, they paid on average $1,500 more because... They, the director of this agency wanted Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to get more revenue so they'd have more savings so they could be off the government books and back into the public market. Today, with this announcement, you have the Biden administration, they're going to be able to replace that person and put somebody else in charge. We all anticipate that person will have a different agenda. It is not the highest priority for the Biden administration to want Fannie and Freddie off the books. And we could see the reversal of some of these increased costs costs, uh, for consumers. And so this is really, really impactful. In in the world of how important housing is to each and every American, to say that we're going to keep these companies almost like a public utility, to make sure that they are stable and there is a constant source of funding, whether it's good times or bad times, serves the interest of the American people. In the old system, what we had was during the good times, the CEOs and the stockholders and the shareholders, they all took the profit. Right. Then when it hit the fan, we wrote the check. <laughs> yeah. Right? We as the taxpayers. We bailed them out. Now, here's the yeah. good news. Here's yeah. the good news. Okay. The bailout worked great for us as taxpayers. Brilliant. We loaned them, and forgive me, the numbers aren't exactly right, 148 billion dollars line of credit between Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They paid all of that money back and now they've paid that amount again in profits. Right. So we doubled our loan. Yep. We doubled our money on this investment and we're continuing to sweep billions of dollars a year into the treasury. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. We'll meet you on the radio next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on the new 101.5 FM 720 AM KDON, the talk of Las Vegas.